Hi guys, Michael Jensen here. Today I'll show you how to tie a bucktail jig. Uh, a year back or more, I tied. I made a tying video featuring the classic Mickey Finn pattern tied on a on a jig head. Uh, back then, my friend Joe Duca contacted me and told me about a jig he used that had kind of the same uh, structure, the three layers of bucktail. Um, this was a, a, a pattern Joe got from a friend and um, it was a killer for walleye. Um, I don't have walleye in, in my neck of the woods, so I use this for, for perch and for trout fishing. And it's great for that as well. But uh, for those of you who fish walleye, give it a shot. Um, enough talking, let's get on with tying. First, I cover the front of the jig hook with red threads. Then I choose a bunch of white bucktail. I never really stack bucktail, but I kind of even out the length. Pulling the longest fibers and putting them back and pulling out the shortest fibers. Cut the ends even or almost. I'll put a couple of loose turns. I don't tighten up at this point. This enables me to distribute the hair around the shank. A few of the hairs will slip out during this process. I just pull them out before I go on. Same procedure here. A bunch more to cover the, the last part of the shank. So they are distributed all the way around. That's it. Then I tighten up, locking the hairs in place. Cut out the longest ends. After cutting off the butt ends of the hair, I put a bit of head cement, just ordinary fly tying varnish, and a lacquer on the on the butt ends of the hair. that softens the material and enables me to compress the hair further and lock everything in place. Then I'll take a bunch of black dyed bucktail. Same procedure as last. Taking out the, the shortest fibers. Mm -hmm. 
this time I concentrate of placing the black hair right on top of the duke. Then I take the yellow buck tail and I take a small bunch I place this exactly on the side of the deer hook It's gonna make a distinct stripe along the side so we got the black on the top, yellow on both sides. This is for the, the other side. Tying it in there. And, and the white for the belly. Same procedure. Cutting off the longest ends here. Then I take a few strands of crystal flasks. I take about four strands for each side. Bend them around the, the thread. This ena enables me to place them right where I want them and lock them in place there. Exactly in the middle of the yellow stripe. The same procedure on the, on the other side. Four strands bend around the thread that adds up to eight strands on each side because they are doubled again some warnish soften off the butt ends Then I make a color of the red tying thread. This will uh, simulate the gills of a bait fish. And I use UV finish for the, for the color. You can use ordinary uh, flat tank cement or flat tank warnings as well. This is just a super fast way of doing it. Use the lamp for curing. And ready to go fishing. Okay, that's all for today. Joe's friends special bucktail. Thanks for watching.